So we are starting AC generator. The main topic was generator. There are two types of generator, uh, AC generator and DC generator. There are two types of generator, AC generator and DC generator. Um, if you remember that idea, generator is actually a device used to generate electricity. DC and AC are two generators. Now, this is the outlook. This is the outlook of the structure of an AC generator. Remember, generator is there to generate electricity. It is uh, the reverse working of a motor. Uh, we have used slip rings. We have used slip rings in the structure. We have used the slip ring in the structure. This is the uh, shape of the structure. There is a coil, slip ring, carbon brushes, and uh, a magnet, we rotate it as an AC generator rot coil rotates. It always induces AC voltage. Now, this is the generator coil, half of the cycle. For half of the cycle, look at this screen. Half of the cycle, this side will go up. Then this side will come down. So half of the cycle, one side is cutting flux upward and the other side is cutting flux downward. For the next half, it will be reversed because that side will come on the other side. So when a generator is working, when a generator is working, it gives an output voltage which fluctuates. Now look at this animation. It's a very nice animation to understand a generator. You are rotating the coil. Generator coil has to be rotated by us. So this is an external force is needed to rotate the generator coil. And look at the spark. This is alternating current. So now the generator coil is rotating. Current is being produced. When the coil is vertical, no output voltage is there. When the coil is vertical, no output voltage is there. When the coil is horizontal, when the coil is horizontal, the output voltage is maximum. When the generator coil is vertical to the magnetic field, the output voltage becomes zero. And when the output, when the generator coil is uh, when the generator coil is horizontal. When the generator coil is horizontal, the output voltage is maximum. Look, this is called an AC generator. An AC generator works on the idea, an AC generator works on the idea that you are rotating the coil by external force like a waterfall, like a gas turbine, like a petrol engine. So you have to rotate the generator coil. When the generator coil rotate, it is cutting the field lines. It is cutting the field lines. Look at this animation. The yellow coil is being rotated and the output voltage is shown on the right hand side. The voltage is induced. The voltage is induced. The voltage is induced in the coil. An electric generator converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. An AC generator produces alternating current that keeps reversing its direction of flow. An armature, consisting of coils of wire wrapped around an iron core, is rotated in a static magnetic field. The movement of the coil through the field causes an electric current to flow in the wires. When wires in the coil cut through the magnetic field between the poles of the magnet, current is induced in the wire. When the coil is turning in the direction shown, current flows toward the right in the far side of the coil and toward the left in the near side. The current flows through the wire in one direction during one half of the turn. As it does so, the current changes from zero to maximum flow 
then back to zero. During the other half of the turn, the current flows in the opposite direction, since the wires are moving through the field in the opposite way. This changing of direction during each cycle is why this type of current is called alternating current. Look at this animation now that uh, you, are you, you are rotating the coil yourself. When you're rotating the coil, flux linking the coil changes. Flux linking the coil changes. This induces an EMF in the coil. This is the output of a generator. Look at this position. The generator coil is rotating. Now the generator coil is rotating and you can clearly see the slip range. This is the output of a generator. You had a heading. I think you had given a heading AC generator. Let's check this heading position. The heading should be there. Should I write this under the heading of AC generator? Uh, give a side heading after AC generator. This is the heading. And give a side heading structure. You have to copy this screen.
these are the structural components of these are the structural components of uh, uh, these are the structural components of a, of an ac generator this is the ac generator we have slip rings we have carbon brushes remember the generator coil is rotated externally you need to rotate the coil you have to rotate the coil externally you have to copy this screen You need to copy this diagram. Done. This is called AC generator. Examiner can give you to complete the generator figure. It can also give you the diagram or to identify the components. Remember, generator and motor has common structure. Motor and generator have a common structure, but motor has split ring and generator has motor has split ring and generator has slip rings now give a side heading working You have to copy with me. The coil is rotated externally. EMF is induced according to Faraday law.
Now, this is the working of an AC generator, one of the most challenging topics in our course. A generator actually does not produce continuous voltage, as you have seen in the animation. Generator actually produces EMF in a fluctuating way. This is how an AC generator works. Now see the idea, purpose of slip ring. You have to give a side heading. Purpose of slip rings. Slip rings are used to make a continuous transmission of energy. Uh, actually, if the rings, the slip rings are not there, which you have seen in the animation also, then the rotating coil will tangle up. The wire system, look, this is the coil. These are the two slip rings. These are the two golden color slip rings. So you need it because it's rotating. So if the slip rings are not there, it will actually tangle up. So does most generators have slip rings? Yes, in our course, in our course, AC generator has always slip rings. So write under it, give a side heading, purpose of slip ring. So copy this pur purpose point. Sorry. Uh, did you say something? I don't see the circuit. Sorry, couldn't I'm understand. Which circuit are you talking about? Uh, look, huh, this is the coil. Yeah, no, you, no. Can look, you can look at the coil. There are two slip rings and uh, I show you that animation again, which can give you the idea. I'm asking about the circuit. Ah, look, now you can see the circuit now. You can see this circuit. Look at this oscilloscope, the white circle. This is an external circuit. Now carefully see the rings are moving and there is a split ring, there is a slip ring. The benefit of the ring is there, the external circuit, the white circle with a wave in it is getting the current, is getting the current, but the circuit is not moving. The coil is moving and the circuit is stationary. Otherwise, the circuit will be tangled up. If you rotate something, if you rotate something, it will rotate the wires also. Just like when you are ironing the clothes, or when you are using a vacuum cleaner, the wires keeps on tangling. So here, the slip ring won't actually make the tangle up. Actually, your voice is lagging, but I understood what you said. This is strange because I don't know because I have I'm I'm having full signal here and I'm using I, I, I always use the wired internet now. Um, as a gen as a as a generator coil rotates, it always induces AC voltage. So now copy this screen.
This is the generator coil. I'm sorry, voice is so cutting that I'm so sorry. You can write on the chat if you have a query. And EMF is induced when flux linking a conductor changes. Look, this is the main concept. Faraday, say, Faraday says that whenever an EM, whenever a conductor is cutting the flux, Whenever a, whenever a conductor is cutting the flux, an EMF is induced. So an EMF is induced when a flux linking a conductor changes. In simple terms, EMF is the voltage. When the coil is vertical, look at this diagram. When the coil is vertical perpendicular to the field, flux linkage is maximum. At this point, induced EMF is zero. When the coil is parallel to the field, when the coil is parallel to the field, flux linkage is nearly zero. At this point, the induced EMF is maximum. Now you have to copy this screen. When the coil is perpendicular to the magnetic field, the flux linkage is maximum. Look at the lines. One, two, three, four. You can, you can count them. One. So you remember the concept of flux linkage. One, two, three, four. These are the lines which are cutting the magnetic, which are cutting the object. So this is flux linkage. Now you have to copy this screen. Let me know once you have copied it.
no uh, i got it uh, no problem uh, you can uh, I, I will explain the same sheet look at the screen that the generator coil is perpendicular generator coil is perpendicular to the magnetic field it is just like when you open your room door the door is vertical the door is vertical to the field at this point the flux linkage is maximum at this point the flux linkage is maximum and you can find the lines are passing through in maximum number. You have to copy this screen. Let me know once you have copied this screen. Okay, when the coil is vertical, when the coil is vertical to the magnetic field, the flux linkage is maximum. Interestingly, when flux linkage is maximum, the flux change is zero. So induced EMF is zero. You have to copy this concept. So when the flux linkage is maximum, as it was in the diagram, the output EMF is zero. Look at the next possible situation. Now the coil is parallel to the magnetic field. The coil is parallel to the magnetic field. The flux linkage is minimum, maybe even zero. You have to copy this screen. You have to copy this. I'm just coming. Copy it and let me update. I'm just coming.
when the flux linkage is minimum, when the flux linkage is minimum, when the flux linkage is minimum, the change in flux is maximum. Induced EMF is maximum. You have to copy this. Now, this is a very technical sketch. The output is an AC voltage. Look at the coil position. When the coil is vertical, when the coil is vertical, when the coil is vertical, this one, the output EMF is zero. When the coil is horizontal, output EMF is maximum. So it shows that when the coil is perpendicular to the field, output voltage is zero and when the coil is horizontal parallel to the field output voltage is maximum you have to copy this screen uh, but in the previous slide when the coil was parallel the magnetic field was uh, minimum this is maximum huh you're right perfect flux is minimum Flux is in a minimum, but the EMF is maximum. It reverses. Remember, when flux linkage is minimum, induced EMF is maximum. It always goes reverse. If you look at the notes, so now you have to copy this very technical concept. This is why the output EMF is AC. The output current is alternating in nature.
let me know once you have copied it. Thanks. So this is the idea. This is the idea of an AC generator. Remember, whenever there is a change in flux, whenever you are cutting the field lines, an EMF is induced. You have to copy this screen now. Done. Initially, a frame is situated in a plane perpendicular to the direction of B. In this position, the flux which passes through the frame-shaped circuit is high, but constant, and so the voltmeter indicates zero. As the frame turns in a plane perpendicular to B, the flux changes, and that is the reason why the voltmeter indicates a value greater than zero. The flux, enclosed within the frame, is equal to zero when the frame is parallel to B. Initially, a frame is situated in a plane perpendicular to the direction of B. There are two main structures of generator. There are two main structures of generators. One is called, one is called moving magnet and the second is called moving coil. We, we have been discussing moving coil right now. We have discussed moving coil and uh, we made a diagram of it also. Look, this is coil. This is called moving coil generator. This is called moving coil generator. Then there is another version, which is called moving magnet generator, in which the coil is stationary, but the magnet is moving. Look, the magnet is moving. So there are two types of generators, and uh, which we will, inshallah, discuss in our... Now, we have discussed it, but we have to write it. We will write it in our next class. You just give the heading, structures of generators. Give the heading give the heading structures of generators and copy and copy these two types
moving uh, while generated you have copied it so we keep it up to here let's discuss in our next class inshallah allah hafiz and we have a past paper class